And this uh, press conference is mainly to, to introduce our lineup, our performers uh, for this weekend. Um, most of them are already here, most of them just arrived a couple of hours ago. And uh, you know, choosing the performers is always a, a big thing uh, for the committee. Uh, we go through uh, various process, get recommendation. At the end of the day, it's, uh, it's coming up with a lineup that is balanced, that you know that everyone can have uh, something uh, that that attracts them, that they can relate to. And we found that after nine years, our KK audience is getting more and more demanding, and uh, their taste in music has grown deeper. So uh, it's this year has been quite uh, a challenge for us. And, but we are proud to say that we've got a very strong lineup. It's probably the strongest lineup that we've had uh, since the, uh, for the past nine years. And uh, I'd like to invite uh, the the artists, uh, representative from each band, to come up here and just to share the stage and just to say a couple of words and you know, to introduce themselves. Uh, can I have uh, them come up, Bobby? Mr. Bobby Taylor. <laughs> Bobby Taylor is a Motown legend, and uh, he's he's been credited for discovering the Jackson Five and uh, mentoring and producing them in their early days. Bobby, would you like to say something? Uh, good evening. This is this is really a, a a trip for me to come. I've never been in Malaysia. My first time, and the first thing that makes I know that I took a young man when he was eight years old, and. Uh, made him the greatest star ever. Uh, Michael Jackson never had um, his own bed. Uh, it was 11 children that came up in a two bedroom home with mother and father. Uh, I'm glad that I did that for him. Um, I'm sad that he's not with me. Most of the kids that I work with and, and teach now I have a new kid who's Chinese. She's um, seven, she'll be eight in September, and look out for her. She's, she's just going to be dynamite. I even have her on my own shows now. When I do shows in uh, uh, Hong Kong, that's where I live now. I've left Canada, I won't go back. I'll never go back to the US. Uh, I'm. Uh, an Easterner now. <laughs> Two of the local kids here, and I think one of them's on the show. What's her name? Uh? Gina. Huh? Gina. Gina. No, no, she was before. Oh, she was before? Well, I listened to her last night, and uh, you, you guys really don't know what you have in this little uh, young lady. I, I gave her a couple of hints uh, as to what to do. I told her, stop singing out of your nose and sing from your diaphragm. That's the only thing I had to say because she can sing. Um, the guitar player can play. As a matter of both of them can play. So, um, and then I heard another band that's at the hotel we were at and I was shocked that the hotel doesn't let them play. They just, I mean, they, they, the volume I think is on between zero and one. Their volume is between zero and, zero and one, and I told them, I said, well, I, I wouldn't work here for that. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, you should be able to hear music. Music is to me. I've been in music since I was three. I'm 81. So that's quite some time, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, I was born in 1934, so you can't get anything out of that but 81. <laughs> so, and I'm, 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 I'm loving it. Uh, I, you know, being with Motown, you, it, you wouldn't believe all of the friends that I've lost. Only one temptation left. Only one four of the four tops is left. Only two out of Smokey Robinson and the Miracles are left. Um, the young man who gave all of you war. What is it good for you, right? Gone. <laughs> You know, Edwin Starr, everybody, um, one of the Supremes, one of the original Supremes, Florence Ballard. And believe it or not, it was Florence Ballard and Mary Wilson from the Supremes that discovered me and my group. So I'm hoping that 
if they bring me back next year, I want to bring back my partner who was in my band, Tommy Chong. If you guys don't know who he is, look at Cheech and Chong. They are the funniest two guys that ever talked about smoking marijuana. <laughs> okay? So that's, you know, my music history goes back to the first person that taught me my first song was between my mother and the lady. Does anybody out here know who the lady was? Who? Hello. There it is. Billy Holiday taught me my first song, and it was a long-haired song. It was Brahms' Lullaby. You know that? Can you sing for me? Lullaby and good night with roses be dawn. Bright angels are near, so sleep without fear. Yeah.